Anywhere we can have competing interests between two entities benefits the greater populace. Regional airline issues under the NMI Senate's microscope Wednesday in a hearing where lawmakers peppered executives, the Commonwealth Ports Authority, and the Marianas Visitors Authority with questions about recent turbulence. We've had a, a difficult, I would say, relationship with the uh, Ports Authority. Star Marianas offering their side amid ongoing legal challenges related to landing fees and airport rates. The four-hour meeting began with a back and forth between Star Marianas and CPA, which declined to respond directly due to ongoing litigation. Mariana Southern Airways also seeking a course correction after their $8 million American Rescue Plan federally funded contract was terminated by Governor Arnold Palacios due to a lack of funds. They're still waiting to hear from the administration. It's just the, it's the I guess, the complete neglect of a response from anyone. And you guys didn't have it. I understand that. You guys didn't see it and you weren't party to it. But um, because, if, again, if you go to the last page, it's like, we're open. We're ready to talk to anybody. Let's at least have a dialogue. MSA says the recent termination has painted a gloomy picture for future airline investors, and MSA will remain on island if the NMI wants it here. Rhoda and Tinian mayors made the need for both airlines clear. Our residents have to travel to seek medical care because we do not have the resources or the facilities to address their medical concerns on Rhoda. You know, some of these people that work on, on Tinian now, they don't stay on Tinian. They stay here in Saipan, and they commute every day. The contradiction seems to be that the NMI government wants to revive the economy amid a deficit, but inter-island airliners say they're not receiving the support from the government to be a critical economic bridge. As a result, ticket prices have skyrocketed and residents, especially from Rhoda and Tinian, end up carrying the burden amid potential threats of current business shutting down or no future investments because of the toxic environment. Lawmakers say they want to help find more funding sources outside of the local budget and lead stakeholders to common ground. Again, the CNMI cannot afford any further litigation on any matter. Tomas Manglonia, KUAM News, Saipan.